<sighs> can't be speaking here, guys. I guess I'm a little, you know, rejuvenated from yesterday. I just wanted to kind of do a part two, you know, to the nonsense yesterday, you know, because I, I sounded awful and so unladylike and um, slurring my words. But well, whatever, I started not to post it, but I did. That's real shit. That's just what it is. Accept it or reject it. I don't really care. But I, I wanted to come on here and just kind of talk about something real quick. If you did look at that snippet, that guy in there ad-libbing with that Kooji shirt on, he wasn't with me. I just want to make that clear. He was not with me, nor did I know him. So, just really wanted to point that out because new, no. new. No. So, just real quick. So, we go into the little pizza bar or whatever. What is it? Chicago's Pizza patio whatever so on one side i got this music so they're playing what is it gone to the moon by future the old future love the old future mm, don't really care for the new future but that old future was the shit right then we got this side over here with the cigar bar and them people you know dressed like that and shit like they ready to go to a fucking frankie beverly concert and shit so and i love frankie beverly so anyway so <sighs> You know, I'm lifted or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I put one under my tongue, whatever. So I'm already in my my little zone. So I think, you know what I mean? I think I'm, you know, all spiritually connected to everyone and shit. I'm like tripping and shit. So while I'm over there on that side, right? So I get into my zone or whatever. There's a lot of drinks coming at us. I don't even want all these drinks. To be honest, I appreciate the drinks. First, first you got one dude to my right of me hips bigger than my grandmother's just just hips he just got hips i don't like a nigga with hips but anyway it's hips and shit and he talking to me all grilled out you know goals are cool they don't bother me but i don't know i couldn't even hear what that nigga was saying man i'm like huh the music was too loud and he can ask me my name about five times oh, i'm 33 i don't know what it is with these young niggas i like them though but anyway um yeah, so I'm like, I hope this nigga don't pull his phone out because I'm not giving him my number. I swear, I'm not. So I guess he got the hand or whatever. So I kind of like diverted my attention. Then while I divert my attention, I'm looking, you know, like 110, 1 o'clock, 110 to me, straight ahead, but a little to the right or whatever. And I'm like, shit, is this nigga at this other table, right? And he got this tattoo. Like, you see how my tattoo is, right? So he has one like the wing kind of coming behind his ear too. I see like the um the little angel wing or whatever. And in my state of being at that time, I'm like, oh my God, we're connected. That must mean something. He has that wing and I have this wing and yeah, shit happens for a reason. So I'm thinking like, yeah, we're connected. We're not connected. We're not connected. Um, When this guy stood up, he had a sweater on so tight. It was just like, I don't know, it was a sweater shirt hoodie. It was really tight and too extra small. And he was tall and slim or whatever. Red. But he looked so corny when he stood up. Oh my God. He had this tight tapered ankle jeans on and his shoes. And then I saw part of his ankle bone. And I was like, what was I talking about? Connected. This nigga just got all these tattoos and he's just really lame as fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then so when I went into the little cigar bar part, whatever, cigar area, cigar room to buy the little cigar. So going there, I get the little cigar and shit. I'm not really big on cigars. But I just got one. I just like the chocolate. Whatever one, the chocolate one. So I like that. So, yeah. So I get the cigar. So the lady's like ringing it up and shit. And she's like, oh, no. So, you know, she's pulling up my shirt over my bra. She doesn't want my bra to show I don't know why I said, what are you doing? And I hear her hand, lady, do not pull my shirt over my bra. I know exactly what I'm doing. I want this top part of my bra to show. It's to show that I'm uncivilized. That's what it's showing. And I'm. that's the, the thing I'm going with. That's my theme tonight, uncivilization. And she's like, oh no, like she's pushing it up like she's my mother. I hit her hand. No, ma'am. She was like, but it's down. I said, I know it's down. I'm like, so like Courtney Love over here, like Courtney Cobain, like let this be. Let my bra show. For real, makes no sense. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Don't you ever try to fix my clothes like that, ma'am. I know what slutty vibe I'm going with right now. 
okay? I'm on this real immature level right now. And you really, you really taking that away from me. I'm over here trying to evaluate this fucking Steph Curry motherfucker that I, I thought, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. <sighs> but anyway, that guy with that Kooji shirt on in that video, he wasn't with me. I don't want no part of that. I don't even want you wouldn't even think that that's how I'm kicking it. Because I'm not. I'm going to find out my next concert. I'm going to go in my inbox, guys. I promise. I'm going to go in my inbox. And I'm going to address those questions. Did you guys sent me? <sighs> but I just want to kind of explain myself. I hopefully, you know. A sober fashion. Look up, not down. Broad your horizons. Bye, guys. Oh, that was my stomach.